Hey fiddlers, when you bow, do you feel like you're fighting with the bow in order to draw it straight across the strings? Do you feel like you have a tense sound or, or does it sound like there are bubbles in your bow that you're really nervous even when you feel perfectly calm? All of these problems can be solved by bowing straight. Hey there, it's Ruth Roland, the Fiddle Geek. And if this interests you, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you learn more fun ways to play better, sound it better. So what we mean by a straight bow is if this is our bow, we want it to go across the strings looking like a plus sign, right? Right angles there, perfectly perpendicular. And unfortunately, we're not in the posi best position to see whether that's the case. As fiddlers, when we, when we play, one eye is usually higher than the other or at least um, further back, right? And the bow is really close to our face. So what we think is straight isn't necessarily straight, but luckily the laws of physics are on our side. When the string vibrates, it acts like a current in a river and the bow is the canoe. So the bow wants to float with the current. The only thing we can do is get in the way, which we don't want to do. So I'm going to show you how to not get in the way. Um, first of all, if, if you've never heard it explained quite this way before, hit that like button. All right. So to set ourselves up, we want to start out in a relaxed position with the shoulders down, and back. And then we rest the bow on the strings and rest our hand on the bow. This is very important. We're not holding the bow or gripping the bow. We're just resting it there. And use whatever bow hold you're used to using. My favorite bow hold has a bent thumb and a curved pinky. The index finger, the pointer finger is nice and relaxed, not curling around. My knuckles at the back of the hand are flat, not pointed up like this. They're flat, squished down flat. Okay, but use, use whatever bow hold you're used to using and then just start the bow moving. And let the string carry it. you're leaning up against the string and le leaning up against a wall or something with your shoulder up against the wall but all the other strings are like resting on a table and this is a win-win once you get your bow hand to feel like it doesn't have to steer. It doesn't doesn't always have to drive. The strings will do all the work propelling your bow in a straight line. It'll be easier for you. It'll be more fun. It'll feel, you'll, you'll feel uh, the vibrations in your chin rest and in your left hand. Um, and you'll sound great. Everybody will love it. It's a win, 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 win in that case, right? Several, several things will go right all at the same time. Um, the trick is to not have your hand holding the bow really tight, not having your hand steer. So remember, shoulders back and down, rest the bow on the strings, rest your hand on your bow, and then just start it off in the direction you want it to go. Subscribe if you're new here and hit the notification bell and I'll see you next time. <laughs>